Howdy do, people. I'm just off of Siskiyou and 82nd right there. I got mugged over there. And I just thought this might be a fun little video to do as I'm on my way home. Uh, you know, in terms of abandoned places, now you can't really get into here. They have it fenced off. There's not really much to see, but it's, you know, abandoned places are so rare in the city of Portland that when you, you find them and you're near one, you gotta, you gotta give it some attention. And this is the site of, this used to be a driving range. Now the main entryway is over here. I'll be walking over there in a second. I just kind of want to see it from the side, but you see it, it kind of looks like there's just kind of open field space here. And that is because this used to be kind of an open uh, driving range. And I don't really know why it closed. I don't, I don't know the backstory of it um, as of this recording. But, God, there's so many bugs out because it's so muggy. But, yeah, I'm walking along Siskiyou. This is uh, Rocky Butte in the distance. And, obviously, there's a lot of growth here. But on the other, immediate other side of this growth, there is what was once this driving range. And I know there's, like, a little garden place here that I might be able to... Actually, there's a little trail thing here. Nothing says I can't step in. Yeah, this is, like, a genuinely made trail. This is... Yeah, cause, yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, there's like a rock garden here. And here's a view of, you know, this is the area where the golfers would all, you know, stand under and hit the balls into the field out here. And there was a big fire last, I believe it was last summer. So if you look at this, you can see everything is like, especially over there is really charred. Like the far distance half of that field got really charred by the fire. And you can see a lot of the gra it's grass has already grown back, but yeah, there's the the place where all the golfers would be when they would hit their hit their balls. Yeah, this is cool. At least I think this is like a rock garden, or it, it's something along those lines. And it, I don't think that was a rock for a second. Yeah, and there's like parking over there, so you can kind of get a view of this more kind of shorter grass. And I don't think the grass is shorter because people have been maintaining it. I think that's just the aftermath of the fire. So yeah, I figured I'd just pay this a visit. And ooh, we got a paved, we got a paved walkway. I think this probably this probably just comes in at these businesses over here, but. I think there's somebody sleeping in this grass. I swear I just heard somebody like cough. Try to avoid any unwanted grass, whatnot. Obviously there's a fence here. This is all closed off, probably been closed off, but this is the former driving range from the north side looking south. This is where they'd be hitting all those balls out. Um, I don't know exactly when this place closed, so I'm wondering like if there might even be some old lost golf balls out there somewhere. Probably not. But yeah, it's cool that with this, you can actually get kind of close. It's also good because it's wrapping me back around so I can get a better view of, because this is the most prominent piece is the roof here. Oh man, somebody definitely leaped the fence here. <sighs> yeah, it's been battered down. So yeah, it starts all the way over here. So you can get a lot of golfers under that. And yeah, the fire originated from a building kind of over that ridge and ended up getting up here. It could have been a lot worse because this is all kind of dried out grass here. And even this is kind of dried out. Like, I think a few buildings were damaged. A couple of houses were. But I mean, think about it. If all this just went up in flames, those places would have been in trouble. It would have burned all the way towards the street where these houses are. It would have been, it would have been no good. So I'm just kind of filming this sort of like a sort of like a live stream because there's just a little bit to see and I was in the area so I was like I gotta give this a visit and 
if I can find any information, I'll try to provide it. I don't really, as of, you know, I'm, this is kind of an impromptu visit. So I don't really know what this driving range was called. Um, I'd even go to Vera. I mean, I saw this and I thought that totally looks like a driving range. Uh, but I don't know the name of it. I don't know when it opened. I don't know when it closed. I really don't know anything about this place. But yeah, I'm getting pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, you can just tell that this place is, you know, and it's it really, there's only fire damage really to that far end. Over here is just kind of more worn out and old. But it's cool that it's still there and you can kind of see. Yeah, definitely people have been sleeping out there, but you can see the concrete ground support. Yeah, you kind of just peer through here and see a little bit. But yeah, you can see nature is very quickly over time taking over the space under there. There's just a little bit of visu visual concrete there. And I know I can get around towards the front. I just have to kind of go around this big building. But there's a lot between, kind of an open lot between some buildings where you can see this kind of better from the front. So I just have to get up to 82nd and go down and, oh, somebody, somebody broke the rules. I'm not going to. I'm just going to take advantage of their aftermath. Yeah, and you see there's actually like kind of a legit pathway through here. Um, I wonder if, I don't know, because it can't just be the periodic homeless person. Like I'm assuming this is the work of a homeless person. Um, since there was a lot of stuff left in there and this is a good place to hide and sleep if you need to, but this looks like a legitimate trail. I don't know, maybe it's made by the people that still own the property. Wow, what kind of a bird are you? There he is, he's up in that tree. I don't know if I've ever seen a bird like that before. Okay, so I need to go up and around this great floors building. And this building, which I don't even know, is this building even really being used for anything right now? I don't know. Bear with me. I might even be able to cut through. Yeah, I can just cut right through here. No trust, I could, I could, that's for that building though. It's not for this parking lot. <laughs> I guess, you know, I try to be good and always look out for the no trespassing signs. Ooh, plumbing. So yeah, you've got this line of trees obstructing most of the view, but I think you might even be able to see it through here, but if you get to the other side of this trailer, I think you can get a pretty solid view of things. At least something of a view. Oh yeah, somebody else has cut the fence here too crept on in I'm peering through here yeah you can see some old concrete there and there's the cover I wonder if this is like parking next to it that also is slowly being overtaken by the elements I get to the other side of these trailers and get maybe one last view. Yeah, this building's been sitting here battered for a while. But yeah, this was, I'm thinking this was the main entrance. You pulled in here and went through the fence here and probably parked. And yeah, cause you've got, you know, once you get past this fence, you start seeing how much the earth, nature has reclaimed much of what is here. It's a little bit of tagging, not much. And you kind of have to go towards here and this is where you can see where most of the fire damage occurred which is 
re it really only got it at this point way on the end here. So actually minimal fire damage to a structure that probably a lot of people were like, ah, who cares if this burns down now? Trying to avoid getting poked by this barbed wire. Yeah, it even looks like there's like kind of a pathway right there, maybe led to something. And it goes off that way. And I think that's about it. But yeah, I think this is probably, I mean, it makes sense that this is, oh, and here's, oh, and it says mini. So this is actually a miniature golf course that I guess also had a driving range. I didn't even know this was here. This old pole with the lights. But yeah, you can see that it says miniature golf up in here so that this sign relic is still here this pole this post you can see the base of it there yeah, i didn't know this was a miniature golf place but the sign don't lie i mean at least i don't think so and yeah if you get back far enough i thought it said furniture golf at first but you get far enough and you can tell that it says miniature golf across there so it was probably a combination I'm guessing, because this is definitely driving range style. Like I knew it was golf related. So yeah, I can only assume, obviously people pulled in off of 82nd here to enjoy a round of golf. It's kind of a bummer. I don't really know. Are there any miniature golf courses that are really outdoors in the Portland area? I certainly can't think of any. Before I go, I'm gonna wrap around this building just to see if there's maybe a little more something over here there's the high school that they're trying to rebuild yeah this build this building has been sitting here forgotten and unwanted for a long time there might not be too much to see here but wow this fencing has been pretty pretty well beaten down yeah but you got some food Let's see if you can make anything yeah just make out a little bit more of the area but not too much and i'm guessing their property probably stretched over here maybe even some of the holes were over here there's um is that a i think that's a door <laughs> and yeah there's this whatever the heck this was for and then whatever the heck this was for but yeah, this is a big, big size property that's kind of just sitting here. Um, oh, we have a slightly better view of the fire damage over there. So yeah, this whole area was charred. And yeah, so there's the fence down there. So this is kind of this whole property. And don't really see any other, you know, there's little concrete pieces like this, but... I don't really see anything else that stands out. So uh, that's it. I just thought I'd bring this to you guys, this little piece of abandoned Portland history. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit up my Patreon if you want to help me out that way. Until next time, guys, this has been Steve, the Amateur Historian.